the sacrifice of everything. This is too much to tell in, in two minutes. It requires a complete laying down of everything that you are. Pastors, you must totally rethink how you do church. Just to make religion mad, I'll say it again. <clears throat> you must totally rethink how you do church. We have gotten so far away from the New Testament way, from the way that Jesus intended for his church to be. But God has a remnant of people who are crying out. They're tired of status quo. They're tired and they want more. Revival requires sacrifice. You must allow God to unlock some things in you. Hear me now. Your capacity must increase. It must increase. If you ask any fresh start person that has been coming to this church for any length of a time, you can tell them that nonstop or on a regular basis, we talk about increasing your capacity. If you want revival to be in your church, to be in your life, to be sustained in your life and in your church, you must continually increase capacity. That means you must sacrifice your flesh. Your flesh has to die. Your flesh has to die. Look at your neighbor say, it's time for flesh to die. Come on, somebody. No, no, tell somebody beside them. You need to scream it at them. It's time. It's time. It's time. God is measuring some things. He's measuring some things. You want revival? You don't just bring your half. Come on, y'all. You don't just bring your half self, your half contract to God and say, if it, if it works out, come on, you got to sell out. You say, well, if it works out. No, you got to sell out. You got to sell out. You got to sell out. Why am I saying this? Because on nights like tonight, when my husband or I preach, in these doorkeepers of revival weekends. The assignment has been to impart to you, whether you're fresh start or from somewhere else, or you're watching online, get up off your couch, get out of your lazy boy. Make yourself a church wherever you are at right now. Don't be lazy. Our assignment is to impart to you how to birth, build, and sustain revival. To impart truths, you will leave here enriched you will leave here changed. You will leave here charged and challenged. But never forget that if you want revival, I mean, you really want revival and you want it to sustain in your life or in your church, it costs you everything. It costs you everything. It costs you everything. I don't know about you, but I, won't, I don't want to get to heaven and look on the big video screen. This is just how I see it. And the Lord showed, this is what you could have had. This is what you could have had. This is what you could have walked in. This is what you could have. Come on, somebody. I say in Jesus' name, we leave here full. We leave here chasing the fullness of all that God has. Put your hands together. Give the King of glory a loud praise one more time. Now, as you're making your way back to your seat and they're singing, I want you to shake somebody's hand. I want you to hug somebody's neck. Come on and say sacrifice.